Welcome back with the Junkies coming to you live from Redskins training camp on NBC Sports Washington and 106.7 The Fan. And joining us right now is Trey Quinn, slotted to be the slot receiver here, mm, taking over for Jamison Crowder. Uh -huh. What did you learn from Jamison last year? Um, well, finding holes because uh, I've said it before to some people, it's it's hard to replicate his um, quickness. Uh, he's a little jackrabbit running right. around out there. It's hard to stop him. Uh, but really his feel for this offense, um, it's something that was – Notice from the day one that I got there, I feel like my um, route running ability is finding open holes and being able to separate and uh, really saw being able to see somebody like that that's done it at a high level, um, just do it in this offense. So it was easy to learn uh, day to day by him. What's been the biggest difference for you from last year to this year? Um, just comfort level I'm picking? I'd say, yeah, comfort level. Um, it's tough not only getting three games to get some reps in, right. uh, but I, I look at it as football still. It's fun and it's what I've done my whole life. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, it's what I wanted to do for a career. And uh, I'm just trying to enjoy it and not treat it like a business every day pretty much. Well, when, when you go through it last year, you're the last pick of the draft. How nervous are you to make the team? You know what I mean? Because everybody out here has talent. And there's, I don't know, 10, 12 receivers yeah. in camp every year. So when you join the team, even though you're drafted, you're drafted in the seventh round, are you nervous throughout that process? Uh, I wouldn't say I was nervous. I'm pretty freaking confident in my abilities. And uh, I knew somebody was going to – I was going to put something on tape and somebody was going to see it and, uh, right. you know, believe in me. And luckily it was these guys. And, uh, from I mean, from the draft it was these guys that believed in me and uh, just trying to prove for them right and uh, prove everybody – our 255 other picks weren't as, weren't as good as me. So, I mean, that's that's my career goals, and uh, just trying to be the best. So you Louisiana. Correct. Lake Charles, correct? Yep. And then you went to LSU. Yeah. All right. And were you there one year or two? Two. Two. Yeah. And then you decided... I'm probably just not going to get as much time as I want. And then you decided to go to SMU. What was so the process? Well, my freshman year, I earned the starting spot, uh, which was majority slot. But I did play a lot of Z outside because, we're, I mean, we're in the I formation every right. freaking play. And, uh, <laughs> the next, just give it to Fournette. Yeah, you know, I don't blame him. I mean, that's – so the second – like, after the first year, I was like, all right, this isn't really what I expected. It's not what you want. I right? mean, it's tough. I mean, I was you coming want behind – You want coming behind Odell and Jarvis, so it looked pretty. It all looked good on uh, – TV when I was watching, but it didn't happen freshman year. They talked me into staying another year, and uh, they decided to go with like a 6-3 slot, and uh -huh. I'm at 6-3. Yeah. Um, so, the they, yeah, so, and then again, it was Fournette's Heisman. That was his like big, his sophomore year was really big. I know his junior year, he was kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah. But sophomore year was big, and uh, that's when I, I <laughs> Peace out. I mean, Peace out. Uh, I, was, I did what I could for the team. And, but I mean, uh, you were probably an LSU fan growing right. up. That probably killed you. I mean, yeah, I'm in the backyard. Everything's purple and gold. Right, right. Um, Dogs' names are Mike and all that stuff. So, right. So you just had to get out. I had to get out. I mean, you wanted to play. You want to score touchdowns. I, I wanted to stay in Louisiana, but I, so I went on a trip to Louisiana Tech, and I was like, because uh, they had Trent Taylor, uh, right, right. the slot guy. Uh, Rita, Rita was there, and um, they threw the mess out of the ball. But uh, at my visit, I walk outside, and people are wearing LSU stuff. I'm like, I got oh, to get gotta away. Go away. <laughs> so I just gotta go. get out of the state. I was out in Texas. So. Yeah. One of the guys that everyone's. Like that's Trey Quinn making another play. That's what Trey Quinn does. You know that, right? No. You don't. Yeah. You don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't. I, know, I just, I, I treat it like um, I wake, I'm waking up on a Saturday and go and play 9, 10U tackle football with a fight. We were called the Firecats at 10U, so champions of the league, too. And uh, <laughs> I, that's what I treat it like. You know, were you quarterback back then? I was running back. Running back. I was running back. So uh, quick. We'd, we'd split it out, and I'd run, I'd run uh, some routes at receiver, but my quarterback's a freaking beast. And he, he grew up with me. He played flag football quarterback, rec football, middle school football, and high school football together. And he's behind, like, he beat, like, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, all their records in Louisiana hmm. uh, passing. So. so I ask you about that, um, I was looking at Landon Collins, who's a physical freak, okay? He, we were supposed to play him looks, in like my sophomore year. But he, oh, he, he, looks, got upset. Yeah, he look, he's physically a lot different than you. And yeah. his uh, his stats in high school at running back he's were like 14 freak. yards a carry. And I'm thinking he, he could have been an NFL running back <laughs> had he chosen. Have you seen his highlight tape? Like his high school highlight tape? No, no, no it's that. unbelievable. That's we true. were supposed to play him. He got he hurt his tailbone in his senior year, got beat by uh, Ponchatoula. And we went on and beat Ponce too. So he's from New Orleans. Yeah, no big deal. How far is New Orleans from? He's from Charles? Dutchtown. Um, okay. It's I think Dutchtown's in between like Baton Rouge, New Orleans area. So it's a ways away. It's a nice high school, but uh, at two. Part of practice during camp. Is it the one on ones? 
Best part for you as a receiver? I, I like the one-on-ones, seven-on-seven, pretty much whether a third down. Uh, those are probably because it's, it's going to be right. you know, slot, slot personnel and right. uh, we're going to throw the ball. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, how big of a, I mean, huh. how much trash talking is there afterwards based on how you might have done that day? I don't know if it's trash talk. I kind of – they want to trash talk. Uh, like, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of trash talk going on, but I turn it into like a friendly conversation. I don't know. I don't get too serious out there. Right. They were teammates at the end of the day, and right. I don't know. We're going to beat up on each other. It's brotherly love, but I'll save the trash talk for the other teams. Right. Well, I just got to keep it friendly. They got, they got into it today. Oh, yeah. A couple of them. It yeah. Catal- Catal- you got to ask somebody else that. That was Catalina <laughs> and Settle, yeah. the first one, and then I couldn't tell who was the second one. Well, Settle's the one that came in at the very end and kind of settled it. Right. Oh, he did? the one at the very I end. I just saw a bunch of guys on the ground. He got crazy. I had the mic, and I said, let's get ready to rumble. Right. So you're. Man, camp's just it probably – I know you love to play, but, man, it's just got to be brutal out there, 98 degrees. and But you're young. It was like you can 75. Handle. It was 75. It was probably cloudy today. Huh? <laughs> 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 no, we were just sitting on the side. We were just sweating our butts out. The worst part about it is I'm freaking pale as a ghost, so I get, get, I get burnt really easy, and that just drains my body. And I'm putting on 50 SPF and everything. So yeah, after – My mom watches this. I'm wearing sunscreen. It just doesn't look <laughs> like that. <laughs> so after the on-field stuff, you go in, you shower, and have – lunch I guess and then are you go, are you back out here later today or is that all film stuff and we're back out here later today for all the walkthroughs and yeah, yeah. that's when I put on the hat and cover up myself but uh, gotcha. mm. uh, yeah just more reps out there those are important too uh, just trying to see it slower and uh, understand how everything's going to so react. what have you seen from the three quarterbacks right yeah. now let's talk about the QBs there are a couple of vets and then obviously you got I wonder where you're going to get to that uh yeah, they, uh, they're all playing really well. Um, the older guys uh, kind of understand the NFL offenses uh, a little more than Dwayne, obviously. And uh, But the, the great thing about Dwayne is he's learning every day. The next day is better than the past day. So, uh, obviously, he's freaking talent. Um, yeah. Really good dude really, and getting better communicating. So, uh, uh, very excited to see what all three of those guys are doing. Yep. Is well, his arm talent off the charts compared to everybody you've played with throughout your career? Compared to me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Compared to you. You're talking about your flag football buddy or your high school college? Yeah. He's uh, at least the top two. I had a, had a guy in um, college that didn't pan out, but, um, yeah, he's uh, definitely top two. Yeah. Wow. Well, people are looking forward to watching you play this year, man. Stay healthy. And make some plays. Is the offense going to be basically the same with, you know, people are wondering about the Kevin O'Connell influence. Yeah, yeah. Is there a noticeable difference, or is it still basically Jay's offense? It's all the same uh, terminology. Um, yeah. We got Darius back and Adrian back and CT healthy and – We'll see what happens, though. Yeah. I'm not calling the plays. Uh, I'm just going to go out there and uh, block my ass off for the guys and um, when my number's called, make the play. So. Should fantasy football owners be watching out for Trey, Trey Quinn this year? I'm just saying, I picked myself up last year, and I only played two games. Uh, <laughs> And I ended up winning my league, so. <laughs> I'm a lo- locker room guy. You can put me on the bench. I'm a locker room guy. Who carried you? Team. Who carried your team? Um, who to have? I had a good pickup uh, with Chubb. I picked up Mo Harris last year, too. Um, I didn't because somebody had JC, but JC was hurt, and I was hurt, and I was like, Mo's about to have a big game. Picked up Mo Harris. Um, I so forget, you made I forget midseason adjustments. Yeah, I make really good midseason adjustments, and probably because I have a lot of inside information. But <laughs> that, helps. that does All right, help. Thanks. Thanks off. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. That's Trey Quinn right here on the Junkies.